What I'd like to do is give you a walkthrough on a new tool that we have implemented on the Book Depot website. Uh, the new tool that we've added is uh, called the Check Inventory tool, and we're real excited to introduce this to you. Uh, we think it's going to save you a lot of time and help you to create uh, custom lists that you can import into our website from maybe your best-selling titles or uh, just things that you want to check on regularly to see if we have them in stock or not. And you can actually take these and, and load them into our website uh, and it'll return the list back to you. So let me show you how this works. We're going to go first of all to uh, the login and this is important that you log in before you do this because these lists are going to be saved uh, to your profile so you can refer back to them and so the first thing we need to do is get ourselves logged in here so I'm just going to type in a username and password use okay so now that I'm logged in if we go to the top of the screen here beside our cart totaler uh, there's that little person icon and we click on that and in here are uh, a bunch of different tools that you can use and the new one that we've just added recently is the check inventory tool so we're going to click on that and this is going to bring us to this page uh, where we are able to uh, import in ISBNs the you can use either an Excel spreadsheet for this or a text file uh, you can click on the import and import it from Excel from a file that you've already saved uh, somewhere on your computer. Uh, so what I'm going to do show you is uh, I've had this list that I've already created in Excel. And just to show you how easy this is to use, so there's about 100 and 110, 111 titles on this spreadsheet that I have pre-made. And we just go down here and we're going to copy them and then come back to here and I'm going to paste it into this section here and there they are loaded up for you. So that's how quick and easy it is. So once you've got these titles we're just going to open up the page view to 96 titles as opposed to 24. So now all those titles that you've loaded in off that spreadsheet they have all been put into the view format here for you. And one thing I want to point out for you is uh, you can see here this title, Parallel Journeys, it's showing that there's zero in stock right now. The What we've done uh, with this feature is we want to show you everything that you load up, whether we have it in stock or not. Uh, so that way you know that everything that you've put in is, is showing that nothing was removed off the list. And the, the really nice thing about this is uh, if you want, you can come back. I'm going to show you how to save these uh, lists. But you could come back to this custom list that you've uh, put in, uh, you know, another week or two down the road. And maybe at that time, if that book has arrived uh, since that this time, then that would, would show up on your list. Uh, but right now, so it's showing that it's uh, sold out. Uh, so just the ones with the orange bars on them would be the ones that we currently have quantity on. So from here, you can shop this just like you would shop any list that you would browse on our website or the new arrivals list or however it is that you prefer to shop. So don't be alarmed when you see zero on the list price. I'm on the Canadian website right now, and a lot of the Canadian list prices uh, are not in our database, so that's why it just shows zero on there. So don't be alarmed by that. Uh, so if we want to go ahead and add quantities and pop these into our shopping carts. So we can just go through and add up anything that we see that we would want. And if you're familiar with shopping our website, you know how all of this works already. So go through. So 
So, and you can see on the cart totaler here, we've got our titles that are being added as we have added them into the list. So, if you're familiar with our site again, you know how to shop. So, it's similar to all of uh, our regular shopping functions. So, the one other thing that I wanted to show you on this that's, uh, that I think would be important and very helpful to you is once you have your list preloaded, uh, you now have the ability as well to save that list and come back to it and refer to it over and over again. So if we click on the save and we're going to put a name on it, so I'll just put uh, Rick's list. So you can call it whatever you like. And once you save it, uh, now you can see this new little tab has popped up with my lists. And when you click on that, this is going to show you all of your saved lists. So now you can come back, as long as you're logged in, under your username and password, you can come back and refer to these lists over and over again. So this is a, a nice function to have if you've got multiple buyers in your company that each have their own lists that they want to refer to. They can each create their own list uh, in here. Uh, if you want to separate out different categories, so you want to have a, a list for fiction, you want to have a list just for kids' books, if you want to have a list for a non-fiction product, whatever it could be, you can save up to eight different lists in this uh, using that feature. And then if you're done with a list, uh, maybe you've run that list for a period of time and you want to refresh it or you want to change it up, you have a new list that you want to add to it of bestsellers or whatever, you can go ahead and delete out that list and put in and put a new one in. So you can put up to eight in this in the check inventory uh, feature here. So we'll just click back on that to come back to that list again. And so that's basically uh, the functionality of this. And we think you're going to find this to be really useful. And uh, we just want to also let you know that we've got. Um, several more tools that are coming to help you out and we'll keep introducing these in the weeks to come and of course we also uh, would like to get feedback from you as well on anything that we're doing so if there's any suggestions that you have for us or certainly if you have any uh, problems that you come across when using these tools uh, please let us know um, you can Always send us an email uh, to service at bookdepot.com and we'll get back to you right away. Thanks very much.